Now we will discuss what's diabetes and how does it happen. Diabetes happens when the regulation mechanism of glucose in your body stops working properly. Now this can happen because of two ways. First is known as type 1 diabetes. Sometimes our immune system gets confused in our body about which part of your body is its own and which cells are not from the body. It can attack some of those cells and sometimes immune system can attack the beta cells inside pancreas. Like I said, beta cells are important because they generate insulin to reduce glucose levels. So if your beta cells gets destroyed, there's less insulin in your body and your sugar or glucose levels are perennially high in your bloodstream. This is called type 1 diabetes. You can develop it at any age, even children can have it. And you need to take insulin injections subcutaneously to manage your sugar levels in this case. The second kind of diabetes happens when you wear your body down over a period of time by consistently maintaining high level of glucose levels. Maybe you like having sweets all the time, but because of that, your pancreas has to work hard. It has to keep on injecting high levels of insulin in your blood and your body, especially your liver and muscle, become less sensitive to effects of insulin. This is technically called insulin resistance. When you start developing insulin resistance, you will get diabetes type 2. As a result of diabetes, sugar levels become high and maintaining high glucose levels in your bloodstream is toxic for you. Pancreas is working every minute, every day of your life, checking your glucose levels and managing it. But in diabetes, your doctor is managing your sugar levels with medication. This is why your doctor needs regular checkups at least once a quarter to know what your sugar levels are, how they are managing so that they can adjust the medicine dose. So do yourself a favor, make sure that you check yourself regularly if you're diagnosed with diabetes and let your doctor know about how you're doing.